morning, Style Squad. Happy Thursday, guys. Um, I'm just welcoming you back to another Style Runner Health Club workout. But this morning is actually super exciting because we're going to be going live with Corey, um, who is the face of F45. So we all know F45 um, is a huge, huge franchise. There's studios all over the world. So he's actually going to be taking us through like a 30 minute um, HIIT workout this morning. So he's going to jump on soon. So guys, good morning team. I can see so many people are joining. Hopefully you guys love F45. I actually do it myself. Um, so I'm so excited to do this. He's going to be jumping on soon. So we're going to be doing a split screen. Um, he's going to be running through the workout and I'm actually going to be um, doing it with him. Corey's on. Hey Corey. If you can request, go for it. I'll see if I can um, add in. But guys, all you need is a mat. Find some space. Um, he's gonna take it through. I'm the lucky one. I work in customer service for Style Runner, so some of you guys may have met me, um, but I'm the lucky one that's gonna go through and do the workout. So I'm just going to pop Corey on. Go. I think it's joining. All right. Morning, Corey. Morning, oh, it's, it's morning. It's 9 a.m. over oh, there, right? Sorry, yes, it's an afternoon over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's well in the afternoon. What's up, guys? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, yeah, really, really well. Pumped for this workout. Is it a chappy? Well, okay, so I mean, I think that you guys are getting lucky today because I just taught a class in the UK, which is so cool. Um, to be a part of F45 and just to have such a global influence. So, you know, I'm in, I'm in LA right now, if anybody wants to know. Uh, it's 4 p.m. right now on Wednesday. So um, we just taught a morning class in the UK, um, which, was, which was amazing. And now I'm teaching a class here in Australia, which is just really cool. Um, so I heard you give a little bit of a breakdown. Um, I don't know if I caught everything, but I can maybe repeat some stuff. And maybe if I add this, stop me if I say it again. Um, so I'm thankful that you're here. You guys are very lucky because we did bears today. And if you guys have done our bears session, <laughs> it's yeah. brutal. Um, Panthers is a little more rest. So what we'll be focusing on more of it is a split style or sorry, a sprint style today. So I'll be looking for a faster pace with these combo variations that we do. Um, so just be ready for that. I can't see you, but I'm just expecting everybody's going to be going at a pace that's adequate and, and uh, is needed. So, um, Brooke, a little background about her, because I did a little research. Um, Brooke is from our F45 Roseberry Studio, which is located in Sydney, Australia, which is one of my favorite places in the entire world. And I'm supposed to be there in the next couple months, but obviously with everything that's going on, we'll have to push that back to next year. So, um, I have a, a much love for Australia and, and just the way of life and, of course, how you guys handle fitness and everything. It's just incredible. So, um, I'm very appreciative to be working with you guys. I'm very appreciative to be a part of this company, and I'm excited to take you through today's um, uh, Panther session. So Brooke uh, has come from uh, highly recommended in our studio. She's a trainer. She's been here, I think, longer than me um, since the dawn of time of F45 in Australia. Um, I believe it's Max and Michelle that are the owners of, of and I've heard nothing but amazing things from, um, from the owners as well. So um, we're very appreciative to be partnered up with Style Runner. Um, thank you so much for having us. And yeah, you you were actually with the company a little bit, right? With Style Runner. Yeah, yeah, no, like I work in the office with them. So the girls put me up for the challenge to do it. They're like, you coach F45, so you're going to be fine. I'm like, yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> so yeah, Style Runner is my team, but I also coach F45 um, at Rose. We're on the side, so I love it. So it's right up my alley. Absolutely. Well, I'm saying I love the studio. Um, all right, so team, we'll just give a little breakdown. Um, so maybe... Uh, B, if you can, adjust your camera because we split a little bit uh, to see the more of the floor because you're going through the exercises today. So yeah. I just maybe get a little trial run to make sure and we'll get thumbs up from everybody that they can see you because I'm going to use you as a demonstrator. Um, and guys, just give a thumbs up. Can you? Is that all good visuals? We might need to tilt you down just a little bit because we do have a lot of floor work. Um, but if we can tilt that camera down a little bit, cool. Yeah. And then I think it would be ideal if we went horizontal. All right, let me see how I can do this. Does it make you... Oh, sorry, not with your camera, with the, with the, uh, with the mat. Oh, the mat, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Then we get full length. And then, guys, just everyone that's on um, Style Runner, just give us a thumbs up. It looks good. Is that much better? All right, sweet. 
So, um, team, if, if you are new to F, I have to get real low. I'm a little bit of a taller person, so I have to get real low. Um, I'll step back once we get in the frame, but because um, I want to read your comments. Guys, I, I look at the comments, so if there's things like noise issues or things like that, just, just let me know, and, and I'll adjust to you. Um, and I'll, I'll be speaking to modifications and, and all that stuff, so don't stress about that. I'm your timer. I'm your modify, uh, modify guy, and then, of course, Brooke's going to be taking you through the actual class, so she's going to be doing the actual work. Um, so if, if you're new to F45 or you've never done F45, please be mindful that this can kick your butt really quick if you allow it to. So the, <laughs> the name of today's game is pacing yourself. So pace yourself as you go through today's program. So work slow and then, of course, ramp yourself up once you start feeling the rhythm. All right? Um, but today is going to be a teaser version, so we're not actually taking you through the full 45 minutes, which is um, going to be helpful today. Uh, it's basically normally Panthers is 14 stations, three sets per station, but we're only doing the first eight today, so you got lucky. All right? Um, so, Brooke, if everyone is ready, they got their towels, they got their mats. Brooke, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, perfect. And squad. Uh, you're going to have to play your own music because if I play music, you won't be able to hear me. So, all right. So, guys, if you, if you are F45 members, I'm going to push the start timer in three, two, one, and we are live. So, squad, thank you so much for tuning in. Good morning and happy Thursday. And then if you're also coming from the States, happy afternoon. It is our Wednesday. Um, Today's session is our infamous Panthers workout, which is actually one of our more resistance-based days, but today it's going to be more cardio-driven. Um, there's going to be eight stations today. We're performing three sets at each station, 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Once you complete all eight, you'll be done for the day. Starting off with station one, guys, plyometric lunge, switch jump, same leg. So, Brooke, go ahead and go. All right, so we're going to stay on that same side, guys, with that plyometric switch leg. So we come back to that neutral position, and we're always reverting back to that plyo lunge. Guys, shoulders back, arms swinging, chest up nice and high, midline nice and tight. Brooke, you rookie! Is it Starting off with <laughs> Station two, guys, that's right. Ten mountain climbers, three push-ups. So a combo variation here, squad. So we're down on the ground. We're going right to ten mountain climbers. Elbows pinned in the rib cage. Core is nice and tight. Drive the knees up nice and high. Once we finish that tenth mountain climber, drop down to three full push-ups. Elbows in the rib cage. Chest all the way down to the ground. If we need to, we'll talk about modifications as we go throughout the program. Station three, body weight line sub scap. So we're flat on the ground. Flat on the ground. Yeah, Brooke. Legs are going up behind you, so stomach all the way down to the ground. Legs are up in the air, arms are up in the air, and we're reaching out ahead of us. Right, so a subscapular, we're working that posterior chain of the rear delts. Nice big squeeze, squeezing the glutes, nice flex in the calves. She's got bigger calves than me. What? All right, moving on to station four, we've got butterfly sit ups. All right, so we're lying flat on the ground. Feet together, flat foot, feet together, knees out nice and wide. We're bringing our hands all the way up over the head and nice big crunch as we come in between our legs. Station five, guys, we have hip thrusters. So flat in the ground, feet flat in the ground, pushing from our hips. Nice big squeeze in the glutes as we get to the top. Nice little contraction on the way down. Moving on to station six. Brooke, you are crushing it. All right, station six, guys, squat jump with 180 rotation. Okay, so we're coming all the way down to the ground. Big jump, big jump. So as you can see, keep going, Brooke. One thing that I want you to keep going, Brooke. One thing that, keep going, Brooke. One thing that I want to really notice and push out here is you see how flat her back is. Yes, her chest is coming forward, but her spine is nice and neutral. And that's what we're looking for. If you can see her knees are tracking her toes, she's landing flat footed, especially with the plyometric movement. We want to make sure we control the motion as we go through. Well done, Brooke. Station seven, we're going to have push up low pulse. So we're down flat on the ground. All right, and so we don't come up to a full push-up. All right, elbows pinned in the rib cage. Chest comes about four inches off the ground, depending on the length of your arms. It's going to be anywhere from about four to six inches. All right. Station eight. Last but not least, we've got windshield wipers. So we're lying flat on our backs. All right, hands can go to the side. The closer your hands come into your body, the less balance that you're going to have. The wider they go, the more control you can when you stay on the side of the right to left. All right, as you can see, her feet, her knees are together. She's going side to side, just like a windshield wiper, even though it never rains in Australia. Um, and it's always sunny. You probably don't even know what those things are on your car. <laughs> <laughs> Joke intended. All right, squad, so I'm letting the demo run through because it's still going to run through two more stations. But the key to today is it's going to be quicker pace. All right, you're going to have plenty of rest in between. So you have 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. So there's plenty of time to recover in between those working sets. Brooke, 
is going to be leading the pace today. So you will be following her every single movement. I'm so thankful that she's doing it and it's not me <laughs> because my cardio looks awful right now. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're coming up. So squat, we got 15 seconds going right into the warm up. Brooke, do you have yours going next to you or are you just following me? I'm following you. Okay, perfect. I'll just be loud. I'll be up. So squat, five seconds for a high knee punch plus punching high tempo. We're following Brooke's pace and let's roll. Go ahead. Oh, you can get those knees up higher. Brooke, knees up higher. <laughs> there you go. The squat objective here, we're opening up the thoracic, opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders, opening up the hips with those knees nice and high. Two, one, and right to star jump squat. Go ahead. Just like jumping jacks. Somehow there was a miscommunication between Australia and America. So jumping jacks, star jumps, same thing. And three, two, one, and we're moving right on to shuffle to abduction. Nice quick shuffle, guys. Open up the hips. Nice quick shuffle. Open up the hips. All right, we got nine seconds on the clock. So we're going to go through seven more variations of the warm-up. We'll give you 15 seconds, and we'll get to work. And three, two, one, and we're going down to the ground. Mountain climbers, here we go. Knees driven up nice and high. Team, as you can see, Brooks black, or black, blue, blue. Backs nice and flat, core's engaged, elbows pinned in the rib cage. Two, one, and on our backs, side to side lumbar twist. So we're gonna stay down here for the next couple exercises, guys. Driving the knees, as you can see, Brooks keeping her feet and knees together as we open up that low back, as we open up that core. Arms out to the side to control the balance, side to side. All right, so we're going hip thrusters, feet flat to the ground, driving hips up nice and high. Big squeeze in the glutes, slow release down. Trying not to let the butt touch as we bring our butt down. Great job, Brooke. Two, one, and groin to hammy stretch squats. We're up on our feet, grinding our toes, sinking our hips down, driving our hips back up, sinking our hips down, driving our hips back up. Good. And three, two, one. Okay, so we got jump twists. Feet and hands together in 1970s slash 80s Jane Fonda, opening up the thoracic, opening up the chest, keeping the arms up nice and high. All right, we've got to be mobile. Two, one, high knees on the spot, squat, nice and high. So as you see, I'm breaking hip line, getting the knees up like an athlete. Go, bro. And Brooke, what I'm going to have you do on the last when we get the transition, I'm going to have you scoot your mat just a little bit back towards the wall, just a little bit. Okay, and one, good. Last one, guys, burpees, here we go. Big jump. Big jump up here. Five seconds left, and three, two, one, and relax. Some would say that was a workout, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> All right, point is, we're breathing heavy. How do you feel, Brooke? Yeah, good, come on. Good, all right. So we're going into the tongue twister. Say the plyometric lunge, switch, jump, same leg. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, let's work. So we're down, regular, down, same side. Good. So as you can see, squad, plyometric lunge. So she's going back in that drop back lunge, but when she's coming back to neutral position, she's just doing a quick hop and then stepping back on that same side. Keep going, guys. 15 seconds on the clock. Good job, Brooke. As you can see, Brooke's hair is flopping in the air. Shoulders are chest and <laughs> shoulders back, chest up nice and high, and she's moving her arms. Beautiful job, Brooke. Five seconds left on the clock. And three, two, one, and relax. Cool. 20 seconds, so plenty of rest in between here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch legs on the opposite side. So we just did our left, now we're gonna do our right. And when we hit that third set, we're gonna switch halfway, which I'll call out. So as of right now, we're just switching sides, staying on that same leg. Okay, in five seconds, here we go. In three, two, one, let's work. Dropping back on that right side. So guys, when we're doing these agility and more explosive work, I want you focusing on working our hands as much as our hips are moving. All right, so your hands are alternating. So as that right foot steps back, I'm driving that right arm forward to opposing leg. Chest up nice and tall, vision forward like an athlete. 15 seconds on the clock. Uh-oh, Brooke, I already see you breathing heavy. We still got a lot of work to do today. <laughs> Great job, guys. Keep working. And three, two, one. One, and breathe. So squad, remember, there's absolutely no hydration breaks today. So if you need a little bit of water, just have a little bit of water in between these working sets, not too much. Small sips. Okay? Brooke, you still with me? 
Yeah, me. <laughs> okay, good. You're here. That's good. Okay, five seconds. We're going back to the left side in three, two, one. Let's work. So back on that left side. So as you can see, Brooke, switch. I've got your switch, guys, so you're going to stay on one side. How are you doing, the instructor, Holland? I don't know what your name is, but I'm assuming it's Holland. All right, and switch sides, guys. Go ahead and switch, switch. Good. So as you see, Brooke's doing an excellent job. She is a natural-born athlete. Chest is up nice and high. Core is nice and tight. And she's alternating a nice, beautiful swing with that arm rotation as she drives back in that lunge. Five seconds left, team. And three, two, one, and relax. Good. Good. 20 seconds. Great job, bro. I am so thankful that I have you. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't beach sprints today because our beach has just opened up for physical activity. Oh, I'm right, thankful no one was there to watch. <laughs> All right, squad, so we've got a combo. Ten mountain climbers, three push-ups, and two, one. Let's work. Ten mountain climbers, guys, down on the ground. Once we finish that tenth mountain climber, three push-ups. Good. So nice, smooth transitions. So, team, as you can see, one thing that's really nice with Brooke and, uh, and her arms right now is you can see the definition exposed of her triceps. That means she's driving her elbows into her rib cage. So she's engaging the pushing motion, which is, her triceps should be the assistant motion in this press. All right? So it's pinned into her rib cage. She's keeping her core nice and tight. She's keeping everything in line. Her chest is hovering over her hands. Great job, Brooke. Two, one, and relax. If I speak too fast, just let me know. Words, 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 words. All right? So guys, what I want you to do is release up off your hands. Don't be hovering on the ground. Get some circulation back into your hands because we're dropping back down in five seconds. Here we go in three, two, one, let's work. Good. So as you can see, if Brooke's gonna make this just a little harder because she's gonna shift her hands up or her uh, chest up over her hands just a little more where she comes up onto her feet a little bit here. Okay, so she's midline's nice and gauge the entire time. Nice smooth lines with the knees coming inside of her elbows. Elbows pinned into the rib cage. Great job, Brooke, 15 seconds left. And team, if you want a little more activation with the chest, what we can take the hands is try to screw them into the ground to create that torque and create that pressure in our chest. Five seconds left. And three, two, one, and breathe. Great job, Brooke. So Brooke, what, if, she, if, if people start getting tired with the push-ups, what's a modification that we could drop to with the push-ups if we can't do any more? Drop to our knees. Okay, let's, have, let's, let's go through this motion right now. So team, if you can do it, do regular push-ups. But if you need to, we're going to do the modification right here. Okay, and two, one, Brooke, let's work. Good. So we're up on our hands, chest up over our hands, elbows pinned in, knees nice and high. As you can see, she's dropping her knees down to the ground. But what's so nice about this is she's keeping her chest up over her hands. She's not sinking back. If she pushes back to try to relieve pressure off her chest and triceps, it's going to take too much on the anterior shoulders. So the shoulders are going to get too tired, which we don't want. Okay? We want our chest and we want our triceps to burn out. Ten seconds left. Good. Elbows into the ribcage. Core is nice and tight. As you can see, there's not much arc in her spine, so she's keeping her midline engaged throughout the entire motion, which is so important. And relax. Woo! Great job, squad. That was three, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Squad way of work. That was two exercises in. We're coming up on the third exercise. We're almost halfway. We've got the line body weight sub scap. Okay? And three, two, one. All right, Brooke, let's work. So chest all the way down to the ground. As you can see, if you can see her knees, her knees are actually not touching the ground, right? So she's contracting the calves. She's contracting the hamstrings. The glutes are firing, and she's keeping her feet up. If we want to make this a little more challenging, we're going to keep those legs up a little higher, and we're going to pull our toes towards our quads. So they're going to come in the other way. So we're going to flex in just like that. There you go. Put a little more activation on that rear side mechanics. And as you can see, her chest is up nice and high. She's reaching out in front of her in a nice big squeeze in her subset. And three, two, one, and relax. Great job, Brooke. All right. So this is such a great exercise because most people will sit in that pronated position where their shoulders round so far forward. Okay. So especially if you're typing, if you're driving, exactly, Brooke. So this is such a good exercise to help with those antagonist muscle groups that are getting protruded forward. And it helps release tension by pulling back. It's an amazing exercise. And Brooke, let's go. 
Good. So once again, she's got her toes pointed in. She's creating a little separation with her feet. Her knees are up off the ground. She's probably gauging her midline, which you can't see, but it's always engaging the core. Something too, team, um, keep the chest up off the ground as much as possible. It'd be a little more comfortable too, not to have your chest press all the way down. So she's keeping her chest up nice and high. It's slow, controlled motion. She's not going through speed. There's no speed with this. Nice big contraction at the bottom. Great. And three, two, one, and relax. I need, Brooke, you're making me sweat. I need the AC on in this place. I am sweating. <laughs> I bet you are. How, how's it, show the camera. Are you getting a little sweat going? <laughs> are you getting a little sweat going? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope so. <laughs> All right, squat in three, two, one. We're back on the clock. Good. So this one, guys, it's a slow, methodical movement right here. No speed right now. I know we're jumping back from the plyos, but we are focused on a resistance-based day, so there's some exercise that we are focused on that contraction. So as she's pulling her elbows down, just like you would mimic kind of a lat pull-down, if you're familiar with this, she's squeezing her lats. She's keeping her shoulder blades tucked back. Nice, neutral spine. It's perfect. Her hands aren't touching the ground at all. She's reaching out in front of her. It's a great exercise. Five seconds left. And three two, one, and relax. All right, great job, Brooke. We're moving on to station four, and I credit to you guys my short, short obsession. I don't want any shorts that go past mid-thigh. That's the Australian way. I know that for a fact. All right? <laughs> We're moving on to station four. We've got the butterfly sit-ups. Okay, in two, one, let's work. So as you can see, Brooke's got her feet nice and flat together. Her knees are out nice and wide. She's bringing her hands all the way up above head, and she's reaching out her feet. Wow, I might have to worry about my job. Look how perfect Brooke's form is. I might need to retire early, taking my hat off the B right now. Big shout out to F45, Roseberry. You've got an amazing trainer, amazing form. You guys are lucky to have her. All right, five seconds left. Keep going with me. And three two, one, and relax. Great job. Big rest. So team, especially with the F45 workouts, you'll notice with a lot of the combination with these exercises is you're not going to constantly get plyometric, 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 right? We factored this in with a lot of the jumping. So we'll slow things down. We like to put core variables in there. So it lets your heart rate slow down a little bit. And then we can jump back into those more explosive workouts. So just always keep that in mind. And Brooke, we're up. Two, one, let's go. Sometimes you feel like it's just never going to end. But we're always going to give you those exercises in between just to help kind of decelerate the heart, slow things down a little bit, help you catch your breath so you can jump into the next exercises. Okay, we got 20 seconds on the clock. Big squeeze, Brooke. Good. Good. We're on set number two, guys, if you're a little lost. Set number two. We're on station four, butterfly sit-ups. And three, two, one, and relax. Good job, guys. All right. How you feel, Brooke? Yeah, good. Good. Just good? I might <laughs> Not... sweat, but I feel good. <laughs> All right, we're just making sure. Hey, we're here to keep you accountable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. Five seconds on the clock. Here we go. And three, two, one, B. Let's go. Go ahead. So the trick here, guys, we want to open up the core. So as you can see, she's bringing her arms all the way up overhead. She's not going halfway with that marker. She's completely opening up her core, opening up her lungs. Nice deep breath as she comes back. Excellent as she comes forward. Big squeeze, and she's reaching all the way up to her toes. If you can't reach your toes, that's fine. Just limit the motions. You can kind of come up partially in between the knees. There's nothing wrong with that. But just focus on a slow contraction on the way back. Okay, in three, two, one, and relax. Great job. I need smiles out of you, Brooke. If you start getting serious face, we're going to have some worried people here. All right? <laughs> okay, squad. Right down on the ground, we're going to station five. We've got hip thrusters. We only have three stations left. In three, two, one. Let's work. Good. So the trick here, team, is really not to focus on speed here. Okay, we're focusing on contracting the glutes. And as you can see, look at Brooke's hamstrings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at those things. All right, big squeeze at the top. Nice flat feet. If you can't, you can't see it because it's at a sideways angle. What she's doing though is her knees are still tracking her feet. So every time we do an exercise like this where you have an, 
an opportunity to kind of keep your feet squat width apart um, or shoulder width apart, I always try to just kind of keep that muscle memory where my feet are outside my shoulder line and my knees are tracking my feet the entire time. And relax, good. Right, so if that makes sense, squad, right? So our normal squat, we have a lot of variation where we see people dive in too much with their knees or they squat too wide, right? Generally, our squat stance should be underneath our shoulder line. So if we ever have an exercise where we can mimic that to build a little muscle memory, we're going to go ahead and do so. So great job, Brooke. And let's work. So you can't see it, but her feet, she's probably squatted every day in her life. And as you can see, her feet are in line with her shoulders, which is fantastic. It's just going to keep muscle memory. So when she goes into the squat stance, she's naturally going to sit into that position. All right, 15 seconds left. And as you can see, it's nice and slow. Okay, her hips are going up. It's a big squeeze in her glutes. You can see her abdominals firing. And then it's a slow control release down. She's not letting her butt fully touch the ground as she drives back up to extend and a big squeeze. And relax. I have the same question. Is that Allie? Is that one of your members? It looks like Allie Mac. <laughs> yeah. Where You're going to have to send me your leg routines after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, squad. Five seconds on the clock. And two, one. Right back down to the ground. Last hip thrust. Our last hip thrust here, guys. So, team. This one is not meant for speed at all. We're focused on slow control movements. We can even focus on a eccentric movement, uh, maybe a four second countdown. So right, so big squeeze in four, three, two, one, drive up, big squeeze, slow control down, letting the hamstrings on tension the entire way. Great work, 10 seconds left. We're almost through squats so nobody should be backing out now. We're almost done, five seconds left. And two, one, relax. Good. I tell you what, I know it's Ozzy starting to get to their winter time, which is not really ever winter. But I, it's starting to get warm here, and we need to drink water. So just a friendly reminder, please be drinking your water right now. Small sips, which I haven't seen it's a birthday. Getting, any. getting really cold, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can say cold. Yeah. Thanks, okay, squad. Two, one, squat jump with 180. Let's go. Big jump. So... Just like we were giving our cue points. Hey, Brooke, can you, can you face the camera as you do it so I can look at your, your squat stance? Yeah. Beautiful. Good. So as you can see on both sides, what she's doing with her legs is her legs are landing in line with her shoulders. Her knees are tracking her toes, so she's not letting her knees deviate in. Okay? It's a lot of pressure on the hips, a lot of pressure on the knee. So we want to keep the hip, the knee, the feet in line with everything. Or sorry, shoulder, knee, and feet in line with everything. Good. Good job. And one thing that you really want to point out is she's keeping her shoulder blades back as she brings those arms down. And rest. Oop, I gave you a couple extra seconds. I got so excited. Sorry. <laughs> We're a good job. They got me. You can go back sideways now because I know a little bit, a lot of backside in the camera. So we'll keep you sideways again. Two, one, and good. So one thing here we can point out with this angle too is we don't have to bring the butt below that knee crease. I know you always want to see the booty to grass type movement, but that's not always the case. Okay, shoulders back. She's going about parallel, and that's fine. Um, I know she can squat a little deeper, but sometimes with these plyometric movements to keep a nice smooth rhythm control, you're typically going parallel, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, 10 seconds left. Could be landing nice flat foot, toes out nice and wide. She's not shifting up on her toes, which is fantastic. Two, one, and relax. Good. How you doing, B? I feel that. You need to tap out or anything? If you tap out, people are going to start tapping out. We can't have that. I'm not tapping out. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. Oh, we got Mariah in the house. Mariah, how are you? Do I have my people tuning in too? They can come in live, right? They must, How's yeah. It work? <laughs> All right, let's work. Right back up, sit three guys, squat 180, jump. Right, good. So be nice, flat back, core's nice and tight. She's got perfect lighting right now. Look at those shoulders. Great job, B. Tell you what, I can tell she doesn't miss her F45 classes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, guys. So this is where we really need to start watching the pace, okay? Because I know you're starting to get tired. I know our limbs are starting to move, <laughs> move differently right now because we are a little tired. But focus on the control. Knees in line with the feet. Feet in line with the shoulders. Hips engaged. Core is nice and tight. Nice soft catch. And relax. Good job, B. Good. Nice big breaths. Anyone that just tuned in, what's up, guys? We are doing our Panther session, which is normally our resistance-based day. So you're going to see a mixture of 
uh, plyometric movement, and of course, resistance space. So we're gonna slow things down. Uh, moving on to station seven, we have the push up low pulse in two, one, let's work. So the push up low pulse, guys, I'm just gonna clear this right now because I'm gonna have a bunch of people that are gonna write me and say, those aren't full push ups. They're not meant to be full push ups, they're push up pulses. So the focus here is yes, we're gonna have a lot of chest activation, but we're gonna get a or sorry, we're gonna get a tricep burn like no other, especially if we keep four to six inches within that chest from the ground and not partially to that low pulse. All right, but as you can see, it's perfect. She has a nice wide stance with her feet that's gonna help with a little stability. If you want to challenge yourself, so you can bring your feet together, but her elbows are pinned in and it's a slow pace. And relax. Good job. Oh. All right, so B, I'm going to make you go through the second set with no modification, and then when we move on to the third set, we'll drop down the variation. All right? Die. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing amazing, B. I'm so glad it's you because I cannot do any of this right now. All right? And two, one, let's work. What's up, Fia45? Hi, Mariah. Mariah just gave me a shout-out. She said she's doing really well. Good. Elbows in, that's the most key right here with push-ups. You see a lot of people go too wide. We want to keep ourselves in. Elbows pinned into the rib cage. We're screwing in the ground. That helps create a little more tension on the triceps, guys, and on the chest. Okay, but with these low push-up pulses, we're taking a little bit of tension off the chest, and the triceps are taking over predominantly most of this movement. All right, keep going at three, two, one, and relax. Good job, Pete. All right, so... Squad, we're moving on to set three. What we're going to do with this variation is we're going to simply just drop to our knees for the modification with this, right? So if you're not quite ready to drop to your knees, what you can do is you can do a few sets on your knees and then push back up into the push-up position to get a little more of the advanced movement and then just slowly repeat like that. And two, one, B, let's go. I'm trying to stay in this frame. I'm like squatting the whole time. Good. So as you can see, uh, Brooks dropped on your knees. And I tell you what right now, this does not make it that much easier. B, how you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your triceps flaring right right off the rib cage. And if you want to challenge yourself, 15 seconds left. She can pop back up onto her feet just to do a few more reps in the most advanced version. There you go. There you go. Let's finish up the last eight seconds like this. Five seconds left. And two, one, and relax. Good, good. Great job, me. So, team. This program is really catered for all walks of life. As you can see, Bee's an absolute athlete, and she's still challenging herself because she's able to go at a pace that was probably a little more advanced than when she first started with F45, which is fantastic. But at the end of the day, we're all human, and we need rest too. So great job, B. We're going to Station 8, windshield wipers. Here we go. In two, one, let's work. Sorry, guys, a little delay on that. Good. So this is the last and final station of today's workout. As you can see, Brooks, her hands are out nice and wide. So the key thing with that team is going to stabilize her as she brings her feet out to the side like that. She can control her body sway with her hands pressing down into the ground. If you bring your hands closer to your body, it's going to be much more challenging stability-wise. Five seconds left. And three, two, one, and rest. Good. KP, this is not for millennials only. I've actually got... And I know many studios, I have this 65-year-old couple that I don't even like to take class with them because they come into Venice because they're animals. Yeah. There's very little people in that class that can actually keep up with them. So this is for everyone because you're able to pace yourself, right? We can slow things down. We can rest. There's no pressure to go at a speed that we can't do. All right. And Brooke, we're up. 35 seconds left on the clock. Right, so there's nothing wrong. There's no judgment. So go ahead and say B was too tired. Say her core was starting to cramp up. Watch. B, go ahead and relax. Go ahead and relax for a second. Bring your feet down. Right? So there's nothing wrong with that. No one's judging her. No one's judging. She's at the safety of her own home. Everyone else is at their own pace. She can catch her breath for a couple seconds and then jump back into the exercise when she's ready. Right? No judgment here. Great job, B. Five seconds left. I did that for you, too, by the way, B. I knew you were hurting a little bit. Two, one, and relax. Right? So squat. <laughs> I, I like to make that very clear um, just because a lot of people think sometimes the movements are like, oh, I'm unable to do that specific movement. We've got 4,000 exercises in the database with a well staff that's able to modify and change whatever is catered for you specifically. So just remember that, all right? This, is, this can be for everyone, all right? And Brooke, last set, let's go. Woo 35 seconds of work. Look, if Mark Wahlberg can do that, anybody can do it, all right? <laughs> Good job, B. 25 seconds left. 
Great job. Side to side, guys. Keep going. 20 seconds left. I want to try to challenge you. No one's resting right now. Keep working. Good. 12 seconds left. Almost through. 10 seconds to go. Great job, B. Five seconds. And three, two, one. And relax. I was trying to do something cool with my hands there. You didn't see it, Brooke, but it looked, it looked awful. Um, <laughs> I let you catch your breath. <laughs> How are you feeling? A lot of arms today, right? So one thing that you'll notice, so Brooke, where, where are you feeling the most right now? Triceps. Triceps, okay. So there was a lot of pushing motion. So team, if, if you guys are used to the F45 curriculum, you'll notice that um, Tuesdays, Thursdays are more resistance-based days. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have a cardio. Saturday is a hybrid. And of course, Sunday is back to resistance. Okay, so what that allows us to do on a programming standpoint is adjust and change specific exercises so we're not just targeting the same muscle groups, right? So you might have a Tuesday that's more focused on a pressing, and you might have a Thursday that's more focused on a pulling. So, you know, we're working our chest, our anteriors, our triceps, and then, of course, on a Thursday, we might be working our biceps, our back, a lower body pull. So we are mixing up the extremities so you're not always sore, right? So there was a lot of pushing today, right? But on a normal, consistent basis with our regime, we would let you loosen up off the pushing motions and we would exer add exercises in there that are involved with different muscle groups so you have proper recovery time, yeah, right? So, so B, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. It was so nice having a bit of both, cardio and some weight stuff was good. Absolutely. Yeah, good. Today, today's fun. Is there anyone out there that's, that's currently with F45 or is this their first time ever doing F45? Give me a thumbs down. Uh, that's not a good one. Give me a thumbs up if you're an F45 member, and then give me a heart if you're not an F45 member. Oh, you got a follower. Let's see if yeah. anyone else. I think people are just thankful they're doing it. I got a thumbs up. We got Susan in the house, F45 member. It looks like there was a lot of F45 members. Sean Williams, 11 of 45. First time here. KP, what's up, my man? Yeah. First time F45-er. Nice. Misha, we got a lot of F45ers on here. I mean, look. Oh, heart. Vixen, new time. Welcome. I, I just assume, like, when you go to Australia, everybody does it. I know. It's, like, hard not to do. It's insane. Yeah. It's got, it's we gotta so be doing, we got to be doing something, right? So, B, if um, we have a bunch of new members that are popping up right now, uh, do you have any feedback to them? Um, it's amazing. I've done F45 for, like, four years, so I can't speak highly enough of it. And being home during ISO, like, being able to do workouts from home and, like, Star Run has been so lovely to let us like showcase what F45 is, can do it without any weight and literally sweating. Like don't need any equipment and yeah, it's great. High intensity, low intensity, progression, so good. Yeah. yeah. So you're a trainer and you probably have all walks of life that come in your studio, right? Trainers understand this. We meet all sorts of people that come in here. Um, yeah. I mean, what's the range of fitness levels that you've seen? Oh, I mean, we have people that are maybe coming back from surgeries, injuries, elderly, post-pregnancy. We've got young people that are finding their like fitness journey. We've got mums. We've, yeah, we've got office people who it's like, I just need to get in, do a 45 minute, not think about it. You know, like really corporate people, mm -hmm. so many. And then to see them all in one class, smashing it together. So it's awesome. really cool. Huh? Yeah, and yeah. it's, it's, it's I, I was, when I first joined at 45, I was, I was hesitant on the sense of, um, you know, I was like, I came from a bodybuilding background, you know, I played sports, like, so I was used to lifting heavy weights. So I came in there and I was like, oh, you know, this isn't for me. This is going to kick my butt. I can lift this. And I remember, I think it was a Hollywood session I came in on. So, you know, definitely one of our more tougher sessions. And I remember walking out of there just going, what just happened to my body? <laughs> it felt amazing, but I just, you know, and there's a lot of opinions that go into it thinking, oh, you know. It's just another group fitness class, but it's so well-rounded in the sense of the balance of weights, the balance of cardio, the balance of resistance, and of course, the people that you meet inside the studio. It's yeah. really hard to beat. Love it. It's so you know? good. So, yeah. um, well, well, thank Brooke, you is, so, so much. That was so yeah. good. Thank you for joining. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can do this again. Um, yes. Is there anything that you want to say on Style Runner's behalf, just because you represent them and probably say yeah, better no, than me? This will, this will be up live for 24 hours, so... Yeah. You guys can do it again if you want to do a couple of rounds through, just like you do a 45 minute class. Um, but there's going to be he there's heaps of workouts, all different workouts in Star Runners Health Club. So to add an F45 one has been really cool and a bit more represent for me as well. 
Um, but it's to be live, and I'm pretty sure we'll probably post it at a later date so that everyone can do it again. So really, Beautiful. really cool. You want to squat. So what you can do, just tag Style Runner because they're going to be looking at their feed because they want to repost um, everyone that's participating in today's workout. And then, of course, tag F45 underscore training. Um, and just remember, you can go to F45challenge.com. That's where you can access the workouts at home. If you have more in-depth questions on the programming, all you have to do is contact your local F45 studio. And I want to emphasize, it's important that you contact your local F45 studio that's within distance from you because you'll be helping support that business. And, of course, if you do like the program, that's most likely the studio that you're going to attend. Right. Um, so F45challenge.com. And then, uh, team, we're doing the 45-day challenge on June 15th, which is coming up. Plenty of time to prepare. So you can download the F45 Challenge app. You can read uh, all the information that you need in regards to what the challenge entails. And then, of course, if you have more in-depth questions, contact your local studio like F45 Roseberry. You'll be able to talk to a lovely assistant like Brooke, who is going to be able to provide as much information that you want in regards to what the challenge is and, of course, more in-depth of what F45 is. Yeah. Amazing. Nailed it. So, guys, yeah. Style Runner, thank you so much for having us. On behalf of myself and F45 and Brooke, we appreciate everyone that participated in today's workout, and we yeah. hope you have a healthy and safe day. And enjoy. Be safe over there in LA, and thanks for broadcasting in on our Thursday, too. Of course, of course. Bye, thanks, guys. Stay thanks, well. Bye. Bye.